the other gamification elements that come into this, feedback. Um, so one of the key drivers in, in a social cognitive theory is actually uh, letting people know how they're doing relative to their goals. So once you have these devices, it's typical to set a goal. Could be something easy, could be something prescriptive like 10,000 steps a day. Uh, could be something that you just want to improve your exercise minutes, right? So the more that we give feedback, let people know either where they are respective to the goals or where they respective are to what they've done before, the more likely it is that they're going to continue within this. And, and this has been proven to work effectively in, in uh, physical activity programs. Uh, recognition and rewards, right? So as you hit certain levels, you want to be recognized for that, whether it's social, whether it's status, or, or rewards more of a financial basis. Um, and this accomplishes um, the reinforcement and, and the, the continuation of healthy behaviors, right? If you're recognized and rewarded for something that you did that was great, you're going to be more likely to do it. This can be done on the device as shown here, which is just kind of a status thing. Hey, great job. You hit level six, whatever that means to your program. Um, or it can be done with on the platform. And one of the things that we have that kind of reminds you of where you were is your trophy case, right? So you can see all the great things you've done. You hit 30-some thousand steps. Great, you're going to have a badge that shows that and shows everybody else that. So we actually have people that compete around different badges on our platform to say, I've walked the most. Uh, reminders. So one of the great things, uh, again, in the social cognitive theory and the trans theoretical model, is that if you uh, push reminders out to people um, and provide ongoing encouragement, so it could be track your you know, vegetables this day, um, track your sleep, tell me how many steps you got, uh, those kind of things push these out if they're not doing it. It's proven to actually bring people back in, uh, have them return to the program, have them return to actually keep driving this behavior change. And one of the really interesting things, the social thing, so Virgin Pulse were based out of Framingham, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. Um, and what took place there over 32 years was the Framingham Heart Study. They followed this community of people for 32 years, longitudinal study. And uh, the, the doctors behind that were Drs. Nicholas Christakis and Dr. James Fowler, um, who were at Harvard. And what they found through miscellaneous different uh, permutations of the data within this is that the people who have the biggest effect on your health are your friends, your siblings, and your spouses. And it's actually in that order, which is kind of crazy. Um, so if you're social, you bring people on. Uh, so bring your friends and family on or allow people to share, set their goals publicly, track publicly. Um, you're going to have, uh, you're going to increase their chances of them actually meeting these goals, right? So, and if they're changing healthy behavior, what we know then is that those around them will also change their healthy behavior.